Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rory and today I'm going to try to finish up this uh, fall journal that we started and <laughs> I've just been kind of uh, slowly getting into it and uh, but it's almost there so I figured we got just a few things left to do in here and it will be ready to go up on my Etsy shop for anybody who would like to have it and I just wanted to show you this isn't that cute oh I just love that I just love that tag so that's why she's front and center so we have a few things we need to uh, make a card to go in here and we need to put this down this is a nice big pocket I need to make a journaling card to go in that as well but it's gonna go right there just like that. I might lower it a little bit. Let's go ahead and stick that down. And yeah. Uh, get all the glue off. So I'm going to put it down. Just flat put it down. Because it's already a, a pocket. I don't want it to get confused with the back pocket. So I'm just going to put the whole thing down. And so I hope everybody's doing great you're gonna have a good week I watched the uh, the Queen's funeral today and oh uh, cried and cried and cried. my condolences to all those affected by her passing it's definitely affected our family which you wouldn't think but uh there's a majority of family here that and my mother included who uh, my grandmother she was uh, British of British descent we still have family over there in England in Wales <clears throat> all right so now we're gonna make a card for that and we made this cool little pocket I thought I'd put it on this page or sh is that just too repetitive let's see put it here oh that looks pretty next to the doily I like that let's do that but uh yeah it's been kind of crazy around here my uh sister and brother-in-law just left yesterday they drove down here from Illinois to rebuild a wall in our house that apparently was falling apart and put in new windows into the wall and boy does it look great they did an awesome job it looks fantastic it was nice having them here too with their 18 year old poodle Cappy <laughs> she's a piece of work that dog let me tell you and this pocket, I'd like to have it next to the blue. Because we have to put a tag in that. I don't know if this tag will work. No, it's too small. We'll make something to put in it. And my, my father, a little update on him. I don't know if anybody's been <laughs> keeping track. But uh, my father had been in the hospital. Well, he's been in the hospital twice now. Um, the first time he had pneumonia and uh, sepsis, which was really not good, especially at his age. He's 81. And we really thought we were going to lose him there for a little bit. But then uh, the doctors got him all better, sent him to a nursing home to get his strength back so he could walk again. And everything was looking great and they sent him home five days later he broke his back so back to the hospital he went and oh this is a little pocket I wanted to show you this is got a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back and here's the tag that's gonna go behind we still gotta make that but this is the other side and what this is is just an envelope see you can see it's just a it's like half of an envelope but you flip it upside down, cut it in half, and then you can decorate it however you want here. 
I corner rounded it and then decorated it. So that is going to go here on the other side. I thought that was going to be pretty. So should we do that? Let's go ahead and do that. So let's find some stuff to put on the front of this. Move this palette. And bring out our ephemera. Let's see, what all can we put on there? We've got tags. Okay, so I've got a, a, a stamp and a tag. Uh, that's a Tracy, yeah, that's a Tracy Fox tag. I don't know where that stamp came from. Um, let's see. What have we got? What have we got? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. This is a... That's from Tina Shabby Dabby Judah. Let's see. What else is in here? Oh, well, we can make pocket out of that. We're out of this. Oh, yeah. Let's drag those out. Let's see. What is this? Cardin Flora. That would look cool. Um, da -dum -da -dum. I think because once that's folded up and we have this decorated and then have something in there, I think that's all we really need for right now. So let me ink up. And glue down. But yeah, my father, after they realized he had broken his back, because they couldn't figure out why he was having so much back pain. And they were like, well, your kidneys are fine, because that's in the area where his pain was. Was uh, I'm going to put this a little bit of an angle. Um, it was like right near his kidneys. And they were like, well, your kidneys are fine. And they couldn't see anything on a regular x-ray. So they finally did an MRI on his back and they were like, oh, your one vertebra is. <laughs> so they had to do surgery where they, uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but they basically blow like cement into your vertebrae, which like rebuilds it. Apparently, he had really bad osteoporosis and it just. around that corner. Just like we did the other one. But, uh, yeah. So they fixed him up, and like that, he was back up and walking and doing all sorts of, you know, doing everything he needs to do for himself and everything. He's still super, like, um, what's the word? Just not as strong as he should be. Okay, now I'm just going to put a bead of glue right here to close this up. But yeah, he seems to be doing... He, he wants to come home so bad. But he's been in... He was only home for like, not even a week and had to turn around and go right back. So he wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> Who would be? Because he really wanted to be home. He was home for my mother's birthday, which was nice. But yeah, right after that, it was like, boom, right back to the hospital. But thankfully, they, they caught it and got them all fixed up. He's in good shape. And he's already back up and dressing himself and all that kind of stuff. So we're very, very thankful to the doctors. Let's find something to put on the front of here. I think... Hmm. We used... A doily on this side with a sticker. I'm thinking about using part of my snippet roll 
on the other side because it's got stickers too. But we're going to have to cut not that section. I'll show you how to use this stuff. Um, yeah, let's cut that like right there. And we'll just snip. Whoops, everything's fallen. Okay, well we can chop that part off. We'll just tear it. We'll tear it. And tear off that little edge. And this little corner. And then we ink it. Get that age look. That looks cute. Yeah. That down. Uh, if you all missed the video where I made this snippet roll, yeah, you will link it. And I know people were kind of like, why is it so <laughs> wide? There we go. Isn't that cute? But this is how to use like the punch outs and things like that from a uh, from your die cuts and now we're gonna put just glue here this is how you know how to incorporate those types of things into your snippet rolls I could have probably taken that uh, that tape and uh, cut it in half lengthwise here we got a pocket here and a pocket here so yeah we're still gonna make I gotta make some more of these and we can find a something small to stick in into this pocket here we will do that probably next let's see what else have we got put in pockets in ah yes if y'all would like to see a video on how I made these, it was really simple, very cool, but you can see on the backs, it's just one stamp set. This is the um, Tim Holtz Field Notes, and I just went crazy just using like all of them, like almost the whole set on a piece of paper. And folded them like trifold. This one, of course, was just the corners are just folded over. But uh, yeah, these make really, really cool. Just like places to to write. And I was gonna try and put them like so on the page, but as flip ups. So. That's how I want to do that. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Let me grab some, some tape here. I don't want to use that one. Do I have anything that looks relatively antique? This one will work. Okay, so let's put, put them where we want them. But I will do a video on this if you all want me to. Because it's really fun and so easy. And, whoops. Come on. Okay, 
and then I'm also going to run this across because I don't want it to come off. And we all know what washi tape sometimes is like. Let's run, run, run. Okay. And place. Okay. And slide down a little bit. Flip it up. And put another piece underneath. It doesn't have to be a huge piece. Just enough to hold everything down. Okay. Now while that's still flipped up, well, we'll have to flip it back down. To, just to crease that one piece on the back and also measure where we want this one. So right there is where we want this one. And... slide this one okay and put it right there and then flip that one up and do the same I'm gonna keep trying to make sure that it stays straight so they're right directly underneath each other I'm not looking strange and cockeyed I don't want cockeyed And again, sliding it across. And placing. Here we go. And we have this flip up and this flip up. Stacked. Awesome. That looks so cool. So now you have this flip up. That you can write on and you can flip that up and write under there and then this flip up and underneath there very cool oh I like the way that came out I'm very happy with that definitely and next page oh boy okay this is that envelope that we watercolored and splattered and this is the card that goes in it. Isn't that cute? I just love the way that turned out. Really am. But now we gotta put this down and then decorate the front. So I'm just gonna put the envelope down I'm going to hold this way. And I'm going to make sure everything's glued except for this part here. Because that's where it slides in. We don't want that. I'm going to try and get to the absolute edge. So nothing gets caught. And, ooh, <laughs> that's real close to the edge. Wow. And this has to hold on to the page really well to allow the card to slide in. Alrighty. And we're going to place it right there. Very close to the edge here. All of it's stuck down. I'm going to take my bone folder and make sure nothing's stuck inside. Alright, now let's test our card. Bingo! Perfect. Okay. 
And we still have to decorate this. That looks really cool though. I love it with the golds. Oh, so pretty. Here's my problem, child. I made this adorable envelope. I'm really loving it and the card that goes in it. I made that. It's so cool. It's another piece of coffee dyed uh, watercolor paper. The problem is, put the little girl this way and it's too wide for the journal. So I'm thinking I might put it going this way. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. But then when I glue this down, I wanted to make this a, like a, a side tuck. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. Uh, I'm really nervous about putting this one in. Or putting this into a, into a corner tuck somewhere. I don't know. And here's the back. And I love this tag. A tag with a tag. Isn't that pretty? Came out really good. And that goes in this back pocket here. So I'm still debating on what to do with this one. I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I mean, it's adorable. It really came out great, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I may have to wait till like next year's fall journal. I don't know. Or we're gonna put it over a page maybe. We could do that and then just decorate this side. And then when it folds out, oh heavens, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll just hold off on this one to the last and I'll figure something out. But so far, everything's looking pretty good. And we still have these two tags to find some place to put. I just got stuff everywhere, my gosh. So. Here's our flip ups we did. I just love those. Oh. And then we could put that there. And then this here. It's not too big. Now I like the size of these little tags. Let's see if I don't have another one of those. Do we, do we have another one? Florals are falling out all over the place. Oh. That'll work. I think, did I? Yeah, all I did was ink it. Yeah. So we can just ink this. And tuck it in that little front pocket. I think these are, these little labels are Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dot as well. There we go. So this tag can go back there. So we need to do something with this and we need to finish this. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. If you all saw my last video, you know where this all came from. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll save that one for later. What should we do on this one? Should we add some Tracy labels? Like one wrapped around the edge of it or something. Ooh, I like these. I like this green. I don't know why. It just really speaks to me. Ooh, this is cool. I like that one. And maybe a red one. Shoot, half of these, you can't even tell what they're saying. It's just kind of cool to have them. You know, like the one with all the numbers. So we can put the red one down here, the green one up here. That'd be kind of cool. And put a little 
Oh, maybe a piece of, no. I'm not one for putting lace on tags if they're going in a pocket, if that makes any sense. Because it seems like the, the lace kind of impedes it and keeps it from going into the pocket. So I like to keep them as flat as possible. But still want to give them some punch, you know. So that's why I use a lot of doilies because doilies are flat. And as long as you can glue it all the way down so it doesn't wrinkle up or pop off or anything like that, then you're pretty much in good shape. And just run this over a glue stick. And put it right to the edge. Right to the edge. <laughs> there we go. Gosh. Oh, come on. Stop sliding around. There we go. I don't mind if things are a little crooked. It makes them look like they were just kind of haphazardly put in by somebody who was in a hurry because they found a treasure. and Just want to make sure they had it in their book. That looks cool. Should we put a topper on that? I think so. Let's grab some eyelets. Yep, this one. And pinch a hole. What color should we use? Always something light. Let's use a gold. We'll use a gold. And let's see. Put that in the hole. Alrighty. That's pretty. I think I'm gonna just use a piece of toy. Why not? What is all this business? Where'd it go? <laughs> Where'd it go? Okay, it just popped off and disappeared. <sighs> I've got some of the greatest subscribers too, because somebody, I was having issues getting these to go through here and she says just use a crochet hook and I was like why didn't I think of that let's see if it works it should come on one at a time then my grandmother used to crochet All I ever learned how to do was a, a chain stitch. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Why I have crochet needles is beyond me. Okay, there you are. And, ugh, get down. There we go. Let me do something with this. Let's see, for starters, I want to, I think, get around these bottom corners. Just a smidgen. And the top corners will cut to look like a tag. Come on, get up there. Now, put that somewhere else. I think I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of it and then we can decorate it. And this is 
You remember where I used the salt in the other video? This is the, I don't know if you can see it. You see like the little blooms, it looks like little flowers. That's what salt does when you sprinkle it on coffee. So when you're coffee staining, grab some rock salt, you know, some sea salt, and sprinkle it on there and let it dry, completely air dry. Oh, my, my video, it took forever, and it didn't show up the way I wanted, and I was so frustrated. But uh, this is, it will work if you do it on the watercolor or whatever, but um, that's the effect you get. It's those little blooms. look inside. I love the pattern. Watercolor paper makes great tags. It's tough. It's got the right thickness. And I just love it. And I've got a whole bunch of it. Okay, so I'm going to move this book out of the way for right now. Oh, goodness. And what are we going to put on this sucker? Um, I have some of these pumpkins. One of them I want to make into a pocket, though. So we'll put that aside. Oh, let's see. I wonder if we could, like, tear this. Just here, kind of the edge. I love doing stuff like this until it doesn't work. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go. Oh, it's so hard to tell which way the paper goes so you don't show the white. That's the problem I always have. I've never gotten used to that. I can never tell which way I'm supposed to go with it. Let's <laughs> take off that one little corner. Okay, let's ink it. And there's another thing too about uh, vintage photo, the color. I know a lot of people are using other colors too, which is, you know, that's great. Um, but I find that, especially with like the little Tim Holtz dolls, um, you go over them real lightly and it gives it that tin type look. Not black and white, but the tin type, like the original photo. It has that old look to it. Much much more realistic looking, anyway. But you can take any black and white photo and do it, and it'll look like that. Let's see if I can't get a piece of cheesecloth. Do I have any pre-stained cheesecloth anywhere? Let me look. I have got too many journals on my desk. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's look in our little bucket of junk. Let's see what I've got in here. I might have something. Any cheesecloth anywhere at all. We do have, ooh, I have this nice little piece of doily. And it's just the right color. And we also have our, uh, from the Tim Holtz watercolor crayons. I wonder if we couldn't 
use something from there too. That'd be kind of cool. Come on, cheesecloth. Oh, I found white cheesecloth. Can we stain it really fast? Let's get a piece and stain it real fast. You don't need a big piece. Let's see. I'll just take a little corner. I have a multitude of um, fabrics. That'd be kind of cool. Wish I had a whole bunch of fabrics to choose from, but I don't. My sister did bring me a, uh, when she came down, brought me a bag of stuff she found at a uh, antique store up there. In Florida, we don't really have antique stores. <coughs> The people who used to own the antiques live here, so they don't want their antiques back. Uh, <laughs> just going to run my inker over this and kind of age it a little bit. Shouldn't be doing this on my desk. That made it look old on the one side. But yeah, it had a bunch. She bought me a, it's a complete tablecloth, and it's all lace. And what else? Uh, there was some other lace tidbits in there, and a, a beautiful burgundy doily. It's absolutely stunning, and I cannot wait to use it. Let's see. We'll put this here. And put that there. Put this underneath of it. And let's see. This bird here would look kind of cool up in that spot right there. Let's do that. And this should be right here. Fuzzy wuzzies. That's cool looking. I like that. Or do we want to add another Tim Holtz doll? Like behind. I don't know. I kind of like it the way it is. Um. Let's see. What else? Do we want to add a, a butterfly? Or, hmm, kind of like that idea. Hold up. Oh. Yes, would look stunning behind. I like so. Let's see. Okay, let's let's snip some of this off because it's a little large. Take that down and we'll just go in. Get some of these out. Falling apart. Okay. This is going to be cool looking. I think this is going to look awesome. Let's see. Do I want to bring it all the way up? To like the edge? And then we can snip off. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so let's 
take this apart and deconstruct it. And then we'll start layering this. So I'm going to use our glitter glue. around here and just dot it into some of the areas to get it to lay down nicely so it doesn't peel up. It doesn't have to be coated. Just dotted. Just make sure you get those little end bits. Okay. And take that right to the edge. And then just wipe up all the mess. <laughs> you can see the glue down inside, but this it dries clear, so you're really not gonna see it. Okay. Then the doily. I'm going to use my glue stick and we're going to put that like right there. Just going to make sure there's plenty. I'm going to let it kind of hang off. I love that look. There we go. Alrighty. And then, and then, we're going to go ahead and put our little birdie right there. I'm just going to go ahead and use our glitter glue for this because my Fabri-Tac is acting like a fool. It's just so thick and it's brand new. So I'm going to have to put some acetone in it, get it to flow better. Okay, I'll put that right there. And let's see, let me have some cheesecloth. We're just going to squirt that kind of haphazardly just to get it to lay down where we want it. Let me flip it over the other direction. Come on. All right. And then our pumpkins. Is trim up this top here trim that all off and we're good to go get off of there it look oh yes mama like all right that is gorgeous let's bring our journal back in and see how this looks look at that oh gorgeous it doesn't even need a, a thing at the top it's perfect the way it is that is just gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Love it. 
Okay, so it can sit in there and dry. What else? I mean, we've got plenty done. I'm just trying to make sure we've got all of our tuck spots and everything in. And then we can work on some more journaling cards. Like this one has got to be finished. And a journaling card for in here. So how many journaling cards? One, two. This one already has one. I don't think I showed it to you. This was that where I took the opposite side of the die cut and glued it down to the paper. That was this paper here. I made a, a tag out of it. So pretty. But yeah, that goes in here. Come on, get in there. And it shows really cool through the window. I love it. Get in there. All the way. There we go. And let's see. Okay, so one, two. Okay. <laughs> Let me start over. Okay. One, two, three, four. This is going to be a pocket down here. Probably down like that. So it's five. Got to decorate. Five. Okay. And I'm going to leave this out because I think we might decorate something else with this also. We'll put that here just in case we want to use it. So yeah, so we still need five journaling tags and need to um, decorate one envelope. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we should be able to get that done in our next video. And yeah, I do appreciate everybody who's been coming by and, and commenting on my videos. I just, I have the greatest time talking to everybody. You guys are so, so awesome. And just keep it up. Just keep coming back, watching and talking. And I'm, I'm having the time of my life. We did achieve the community tab. So I'm really excited about that. So we can talk even more without it being, you know, boring. I mean, we can do all sorts of things. So yeah, um, thanks again for all the attention and the love. And I really do appreciate it. And until my next video, I sure do love you bunches. Bye.